Today I'm going to show you how to replace the motor on your Sunrise Solar Attic fan. The first step is going to be removing the hex screws that hold the top to the base. As you can see here, this is your base and this is your top. There's four screws located around the neck of the fan. I'm going to remove those. After you've removed the four screws that hold the base of the fan to the top, you're going to pull the top off. So the base is obviously going to stay on your roof. Now that you've taken the top off, you can safely take it off your roof down to a workstation and now you can replace the motor. First step of replacing the motor is going to be removing these connections off of the motor prongs. Now we want to loosen the brackets that squeeze the motor in place using a 7 16 box wrench and a 7 16 socket wrench. After you've loosened these motor brackets enough, you can slide the motor up so that now you can use your 8 inch Allen key to remove the fan blade. This is probably the trickiest part of the install. You want to be careful not to bend the fan blade. Just needs a quarter turn. That fan blade should slide right off. As you're sliding the old motor out, make note of the orientation of the motor prongs, the positive and negative end. That's exactly how you want to put in the new motor. Now you remove the motor. More than likely this motor burnt out after years of being in the hot sun, in the hot attic, spinning. The lubrication and the bearings most likely wore out. Now that you've taken your old motor out, set it aside, grab your new motor that we just shipped to you, place it down in the same orientation as the old motor. Now you want to secure the fan blade to that motor shaft. Again, being careful not to bend the fan blade. Now that you've tightened the set screw and your fan blade is back in place on the motor shaft, you're going to Slide the motor into position. You're going to take your 7 16 socket wrench and box wrench, and you're going to squeeze the brackets in place that hold the motor. Once these are tight, you're going to plug in your connections once more. Once you've made the connections, test your fan. Take it to a sunny spot, aim it at the sun, make sure everything's working great. Now you're gonna take it back onto your roof, slide it onto the base, and put those four screws back in place. And that was a quick how-to on how to replace the motor in your Sunrise Solar Attic fan.